here in beautiful Saint-Nazaire in France and uh, just returning from Sri Lanka and had a fabulous, fabulous time there. And, you know, as, as you might know, just before going to Sri Lanka for a few weeks, uh, for two weeks, I went to Miami and did a wonderful interview with a beautiful lady. And I can't wait for this interview to be online. Uh, and I really want to recommend this woman because I think her book and who she is is exactly um, it. I love, I loved it. Uh, her name is Simran, and she is just to me. It took it took my journey to the next level. Hearing what she had to say, you might know her already. She did some TEDx uh, events and speech and went all across the U.S. and and went through. I mean, really, dark nights of the soul difficult moments uh, to go through but where she was able to wake up from this in a, in a beautiful magnificent way and follow the signs now and the symbols and have conversation with the universe that's the name of her book that I'm reading right now conversations with the universe I think this book is awesome if you haven't read it I really recommend and I don't often do these videos because But there is sometimes these books. Oh my God! You know, I I I just love her and what she says in this book, and it's taking this whole you know following the signs and asking questions and being part of life and dancing with it. It's really taking it to a whole new level for me to read this book and. Um, I really love it. I'm taking my time to read it. I had it and uh, it traveled with me actually to Sri Lanka. Uh, and it made sense of those hard moments, you know. And, and I now ask more and more to the universe questions and I see the immediate answer. I mean, it's really, really fast. It's, uh, it's, it's symbolic and sometimes even the words that come uh, are just not the ones I would usually use and um, they're very comforting and beautiful um, and I love her 11-11 story where she would see 11s everywhere waking up and really just asking what does this mean and she ended up creating a, a magazine and now is going around the US uh, to do those conferences and she went through a tough divorce um, really really inspirational woman and uh, just for a little story that happened uh, I was supposed to go to and I did a video blog in Sri Lanka and I will be posting the interviews I did there actually a, a really good one with Kirby a Britannarian um, but uh, for the little story I couldn't get the visa for India you know I have dual citizenship I'm French and uh, an American and They ask for the Indian visa to uh, let them know about any passports that are valid. So I gave both of my passports. Most people might not have done that, but I, I just decided, you know, to, to to tell them about my American passport also, not knowing that there was an issue between apparently India and America because they wanted to have both passports. And I couldn't because I was flying to Miami and had to go to Miami. And then four days later, I was supposed to fly to India. So instead, I added a, a trip to Sri Lanka and just stayed in Sri Lanka, knowing that my main interview anyway was in Sri Lanka. I thought, it's impossible. I can't get reimbursed of my tickets for India. So I'm just going to go to Sri Lanka and do my interviews there because there was so much resistance. And I'm like, maybe I'm not supposed to interview the people I was supposed to interview in India. Maybe it's too complicated. Uh, and I really had this intention on in uh, of interviewing great, beautiful, pure, beautifully intentioned people. And maybe, you know, maybe that wasn't the case with what I had set up. I don't know, but uh, not that India is not for me or not that I think it's not a beautiful country. It's just definitely at that time, the timing was bad and instead of, I just, you know, instead of making this whole thing wrong, I just thought, okay, there's guidance here and um, I'm probably not supposed to go to India at this stage. On the return, same thing. I, I didn't want to get out of the airport, obviously without a visa, you know, you can't. But I was supposed to take a f flight from Chennai to Mumbai to take an international flight and they wouldn't let me in. They wouldn't allow me to take that flight. Um, because there is no international kind of transit area. So I had to fly back to Sri Lanka again, 
Sri Lanka definitely wanted me to be there for one more day and then fly back to Europe. Um, and just right now, I just tried to book, a, a, because I'm doing some conferences in, in France and in Quebec and uh, for my, my book, I Have No Religion and I Like It, coming out in French and it's being translated right now in English. It will come out by the end of 2014. But for now, I'm doing all these conferences in France and Switzerland and Belgium. And in Avignon, you know, in Avignon, in the beautiful Cité des Papes, impossible to even create the page for people to reserve their seats. And I thought, oh my God, after 10, 15 times, you know, what is going on? You know, this, this is not normal. And I thought, I'm going to ask the person that recommended me this room and is organizing this conference if she knows the room, if what's up with this room, if this room is even weird or something, or if it has a good energy, or maybe it's a bit, you know, cold, like just uh, with not much uh, vibe. And uh, she said she never saw this, this room and she was actually just uh, thinking of it too and how uh, it's probably not the best option. Uh, and, and and nothing on her email was telling me that you know I, I just it was impossible to book it so I really thought hey th let's really not not even think or let's not even visit this this room forget it and we'll do somewhere else um, probably this room is very good probably for other speakers or other people or events but for this particular one. Uh, because of the intentions and just because of the, I don't know, of, of the vision, I guess, or, or, or what I would like to deliver and share with people, maybe it's just not a fit and it's not in resonance and um, moving on, you know, moving on quickly with things that are blocking and are not working. And instead of making myself wrong or making my computer wrong or the slow internet connection or it crashing, it's crazy. I was working on other events and just for that event, the computer would crash. I tell you, these are not just coincidences. I hope you're doing well, my beautiful co-creators, that you're enjoying life fully. And uh, I look forward to um, sharing more of these beautiful videos and people with you. Lots of new projects are bubbling up um, that I can't wait to share with you, you know, site to help us connect with each other and just beautiful, beautiful projects. I send you big, big kisses from France, sunny France in February. Bye.